Here on planet Earth, the mighty Cybertronian bumblebee. Black and yellow in appearance. It cleverly blends into its surroundings, thus avoiding its predators. Hi everyone, Big Pauly back for some Monday Blu-ray hunting. Oh yes, we're all going buzz buzzes today, Bumblebee. Um, I'm just sitting in the McDonald's drive through here in Dover, waiting to get my lovely cappuccino to get on the road, and then we shall get down to Westwood Cross. Oh yes, baby. Okie dokie, right, uh, car's moving, so I better put the phone down, otherwise I'll get arrested, and um, I'll see you down at Westwood Cross in a little bit. <laughs> Cha-cha! Okay, so we are here at our first destination of the day. The mighty Sainsbury's. Let's go in and have a look, see what they've got. Okay, well, I don't see a very large display for Bumblebee. Looks just like the one that was I saw in Tesco's the other day. Yes, just a little display. But we have here the DVD and the Blu-ray as well. Okay, I was expecting a bit of a bigger display. Maybe there'll be a bigger display at Tesco's. But uh, it doesn't look like there's any giveaways. I know Tesco's are giving away some toy or something. But uh, I was expecting the Sainsbury's to maybe give away a book or a real life transformer. But uh, no, obviously not. So let's go over to the Blu-rays and the DVDs and have a look and see what else they've got over there. Okay, so here we are at the Blu-ray chart. So we have Bumblebee. Love this cover, really nice cover. All this beautiful yellows and blues. Fantastic cover. And that's the standard Blu-ray. No digital copy. That's 13 pounds, that's pretty good. We also have the 4K for 20 pounds. Wow, I thought it was 25. So that's the 4K and the Blu-ray. Same cover. Uh, yeah, I wish I'd used a different cover, but never mind. We also have the favourite with Olivia Coleman and Emma Stone and Rachel Weisz. Didn't see this in the cinemas, but uh, won the uh, all those Academy Awards. But uh, it did look good. That's fifteen pounds. Then looks like they've re-released Drive Special Collector's Edition includes original what excludes exclusive original art cards featuring alternative radio one soundtrack and the making of with zane low okay i didn't know they were going to release that but that's eight pounds special special edition and also they've pushing aladdin because of the new film that's ten pounds Venom is still £10 here and John Wick 1 and 2 on Blu-ray for £10 as well so that's pretty good. Let's see if I'm seeing anything else here. Uh, First Man is included in the 2 for 25 and so is Creed 2 And I can see up here the Justice League versus the Fatal Five and Howard the Duck. They're now both included in the two for 25 as well. Yeah. Mortal Engines, the 3D, is 11 pounds. That's a good price, a very good price for 3D. Okay, over here on the DVDs, so we have the regular bumblebee again lovely cover is that the same yes yeah, the same cover so they use the same cover on all of them but uh, that is the standard 10 pounds plus we have the favorite as well for 10 pounds kira knightley in colette 
that's for £10. We also have Welcome to Marwin as well. Um, I take it this has actually got a Blu-ray release. Didn't see this, but it's from the director of Forrest Gump, Robert Zemeckis. I looked at the trailer. It looked really good, but it looked really weird. It's kind of like Barbie meets Action Man. But uh, I'm very intrigued on that because uh, I did like the look of it. But that's £10. We also have Ravenswood Asylum, based on terrifying true events. That does look a bit scary. £7. Plus down here we have Series 3 of Victoria, with Jenna Coleman. And Ron Perlman in Hitman Redemption, from the executive producer of Mudbound. Well, off not seen or heard of Mudbound but uh, that looks good for £7 and round here on the TV charts we've got the usual Game of Thrones uh, this is new Curfew which is a Sky original production started to watch this I only got an episode in but uh, I need to carry on with it but uh, it does look pretty good yeah, I was quite impressed with the, the first episode of that. Uh, we also have Victoria, the complete series 1, 2 and 3. That's for £30. Plus series 8 and the Christmas special for Call the Midwife as well. Babies! And that's £13. Of course, with the great value DVDs, we have Hornet. They actually go quite well together. <laughs> I know which one I'd rather have though. And on the 4Ks we also have Braveheart which is also included now in the 2 for 30 as well as Independence Day and Inception and Unforgiven. Okay, as far as Bumblebee's concerned, the 4K is £20 here in Sainsbury's, the 4K and the Blu-ray. I looked on Amazon and it's actually £25, 24 £24.99, so I don't know if maybe Amazon are trying to, um, or rather Sainsbury's are trying to, you know, outdo Amazon, that sort of thing. But um, I was tempted to actually pick it up, but I thought we'd go down and have a look in same um, in HMV first, see how much it is down there, and also see if they have the Bumblebee Yellow Steelbook, which does look good. I think I'm probably either going to pick up that 4K for £20, or it's going to be the Yellow Steelbook. So, next stop, let's go and have a look in HMV. Okay, next stop of the day is HMV here at Westwood Cross. Let's go in and have a look, see what they've got. So I picked up one title from HMV, 
So let's go and have a look in Poundland now and see if there's anything in there this week. Okay, so it looks like we've actually had a new delivery in. Plus we've got some boxes up the top as well. And of course they stacked them so that it's impossible to go through them. So I might just have to go through this lot and then have a look, see what there is. Okay, so we are done at HMV and Poundland. It took me ages to go through that lot at Poundland. They were all over the place. So I had to sort of like dig in, pull a bit, 10 out, go through them, repeat and all that kind of shit and pulled the boxes down and have a look. Um, I picked out two titles from Poundland. I picked up one from HMV and I've just popped back to Sainsbury's to pick up another couple of titles. Uh, I, when I picked these titles up at Sainsbury's, I went to the checkout, paid for them. The woman was there at the self-checkout and the Blu-rays were in these clamshell plastic cases, you know, these anti-theft shit things. Um, and I sort of like stood there with them in my hand and she was like, what? And I just stood there with the mimi hand in these Blu-rays in plastic clam shells that need opening. And I just stood there and she was like, what? And I said, I need the fucking clam shells released, you dozy mare. <laughs> well, I didn't actually say that, but I was thinking it. <laughs> it. It took her bloody ages to realise what she needed to do. Bloody staff, you can't get them, can you? Right, okay, so we're done down here at Sainsbury's, so let's... Oh, God, I need a shave. Right, let's nip over to Tesco's now and have a look, see if they've got anything over there. Oh, yes. Okay, we are at our next destination, which is Tesco's. Looks like it's being transformed. Oh, yes, baby. Oh, not a single display. That's very unusual for Tesco's. Maybe it's around the back. No, not a single display. Oh wow. Okay, so here in Tesco's, so we've got the Blu-ray here for £13. Uh, what else am I seeing? Still got lots of Holmes and Watsons for 15 which will probably just stay there replicas there for £10. And up here on the DVDs, the Bob will be there for £10. Aquaman on DVD with a white case. Did it originally come in a white case? It was quite good in a white case. And we have the Lego, the second Lego movie out in June. And next week, glass. So we've got the other DVDs down here. Don't think so. Looks all the same stuff. Got a film here on DVD called Anna and the Apocalypse. Shaun of the Dead meets La La Land. The zombie musical you didn't know you needed. I bet that's quite interesting five pounds. We have a Nicolas Cage film here called Between Worlds which I think was here a couple of weeks ago. Okay, pretty naff in Tesco's today actually, not a lot. Uh, not even a 4k for Bumblebee, which is quite kind of surprising, but uh, Yeah, and no stand as well at the front of the store Or anywhere that I can see so Okay Let's move on to our next destination Which is the range down here at Westwood Cross. We haven't been in here in ages probably since about Halloween or Christmas so let's pop in and have a look, see if they've got any new canvas and bits and bobs.
Oh, some beef jerky. Honey barbecue. Okay, we've got some movies here. Uh, all DVDs though. So there's a kiddie section. Batman movie. Oh, they actually do have Blu-rays. They've never had Blu-rays in here before. They have Blu-rays of Gravity and Golid Godzilla for 7 99 which are both £2 in Poundland. Mm. Ben Affleck, Live By Night, American Sniper, good film. Uh, we've got Mad Max, Inception, 2001, nice sleeve, and Interstellar as well. Never ending story. <laughs> and the Clint Eastwood West Western Collection. Oh, some more down here. The 300 Complete Collection for £10. The Chevy Chase Ultimate Vacation Series for £12. Yeah, not bad. And some Lego Movie DVDs here for five pounds each. Choose your colour: yellow, blue, or red. Okay, not a little bad selection of Blu-rays there. A little bit overpriced, but at least they're stocking some. But uh, let's head on upstairs, have a look at the canvas, and see what else there is up there. Let's have a look over here. This is usually where the canvas is. We've got a nice poster here. Captain Marvel poster. If only I had the room. Damn. Oh yes. Fantastic. Uh, right, picture frames. Movie canvas, no New York. I might need that soon. Oh, that's pretty cool to resemble a bottle top. That's quite neat. Hard oh, rock, make some noise. Uh, no, oh, oh, really? One, but it's a new one. Pulp Fiction poster, regular poster, ten ninety nine. That's not bad actually. Well, they're not in danger of selling out anytime soon. Surely that can't be it. Just the one. What happened to all the the Marvel ones and DCs that they had? Oh, okay. Oh, hang on a minute. Looks like they may have moved them. Here we go. Okay, right, okay, so we've got Venom Lethal Protector. Plus a Marvel comic strip. Marvel Comics down there, which has been in here before. And this is pretty neat. This is like corrugated metal, Hogwarts Express metal plaque for £10. That is pretty good actually. 
that looked good in the back bedroom but uh, they've got quite a few of those so I might come back a little bit later on maybe to pick that up yeah okay nothing interesting unlike Marvel and DC we've seen all those ones before in other stores but uh, kind of interested in that in that um, what was it Hogwarts Express platform nine and three quarters that actually looks quite good it's the kind of thing that Lou would go for as well especially when she, uh, she used to live down in Ashford uh, and the bedroom was all painted purple we made it out this was when Harry Potter was really big and uh, it just looked very Harry Potter and Hogwarts but uh, let's head over to the other section here and have a look to see if there's anything over it's like the, uh, the toy section over here so let's have a look down some of these aisles these are all like little kiddie stuff but you never know, you might find some pops and things. Yeah, what was I saying? Oh, Fortnite. I don't really want Fortnite pop. This is what we got down here. Lots of minion stuff as usual. Despicable Me 3. Spider-Man with Spider-Cycle. Oh, they've got some uh, Toy Story 4 stuff in here as well. Make your own four key. It includes three tubs of dough. That's dough. Craft set. That's neat. And some Toy Story 4 masks. That's kind of neat. Big Captain America there. 20 inch figure for $14.99 and a Star Wars Hot Wheels with a Millennium Falcon and a TIE Fighter £6.49 Grenade and some little Avengers plush as well which I think we saw last year And they're even selling the Suicide Squad boomerang figures, which uh, B&M had. They're six ninety nine in here. A giant Coke bottle. That is big. That's a money jar. And then here we've got a couple of little figures, little Hot Wheels, to resemble kind of like Ray's outfit and the Stormtrooper. Or the flame trooper. Oh, Bing Bong, Bing Bong, fantastic! Plays the Bing Bong song. How do you turn it on? Press what? Press my press my bow tie. No! Bing bong don't work! We also have some inside out stuff as well. some fireworks here ready for November the 5th okay yes so some good stuff in there um, I like the barbecues very expensive barbecues though but very posh but um, DVDs blu-rays never had I don't think I've ever seen blu-rays in the range before generic and a little bit overpriced i mean gravity at for what is it 7.99 it's been two pound in uh pound land with a slip but you'd expect overpricing from a, a place like this really yes uh 
no real new canvas other than the Pulp Fiction one, which was nice, but I, unfortunately I don't have the room for it. But uh, I'm interested in that Hogwarts platform nine and three quarters. I'm going to see if I can get it cheaper elsewhere, maybe Amazon or, or somewhere locally. If not, then I might just pick that up at the end of the month. There's loads of them, so we're not going to run out. And um, lots of fireworks. Um, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. We're six months away from Guy Fawkes. Yeah, <laughs> very interesting. Okay, right, so I think that was our last stop of the day as I've got to start preparing and getting ready to go back to work because I'm on half day today, but uh, I'm probably going to stop in Costa on the way back for a coffee. But uh, I popped to Costa, get myself a coffee, and um, I'll show you what I picked up today. Okay, so just come out of Costa. Oh yes, with my lovely cappuccino. I do like a cappuccino. It's actually quite warm out today. I should be having an iced coffee or something, or an iced tea. Right, okay, on to today's pickups. There are actually six titles, so pretty good today. Three pound lands, uh, one HMV and two Sainsbury's. And a partridge in a pear tree. Okie dokie, right, here we go. Okay, first pickup from Poundland. I, I don't think I've seen this in Poundland before. Uh, it's a, a different take on the Snow White theme. It's a classic tale comes to life. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Big Paul is the beautiful one of them all. Yes. Mirror Mirror breathes fresh air into the classic story of Snow White, a treat for all the family. Can't say that I've seen that in Poundland before, and I've never seen the film. And it stars Julia Roberts and Lily Collins. Uh, Lily Collins, I think, was actually on um, the Alan Carr programme the other day about movies. Yeah, that's kind of what made me want to pick this up. But... Uh, yeah, I'm interested to see what it what it's like. It looks pretty good. As I say, I've never seen it before. So, just looking forward to picking uh, to uh, to watching that one. That will actually go into the Poundland bin. And obviously being a Blu-ray pickup day and going to Poundland, it's only natural that you would pick up a Nicolas Cage movie. And I did. And it's one that I've not seen before. Um, and one I don't know absolutely anything about. And I can't say that I've recall seeing it in Poundland before. Uh, it's called Trespass. Those who trespass against us. With uh, Nicole Kidman as well. So uh, it looks interesting. It's a new one. You can run or you can fight. Looks like something to do with husband and wife team living in a beautiful mansion and their world is shattered as cold-blooded intruders ransack their supposedly impenetrable sanctuary and hold them hostage that actually sounds quite good so um, it's quite a heavy one as well i suppose it's a double play uh oh it comes with a dvd as well okay extra drink coaster fantastic yep so i don't know anything about that um whether it's going to be the usual nicholas cage shit i don't know but it's got nicole kidman so it might be a little bit better than the usual Nic nicholas cage shit uh this one i picked up a couple of days ago in poundland um <laughs> i don't know why i picked it up but uh it could be a laugh uh bin laden will die again the axis of evil dead oh zombie <laughs> oh my god oh my god look at that down there oh uh, this is going to be absolute shit but i think it's going to be quite fun to watch uh, dusty a yoga instructor from colorado is on a desperate rescue mission in the middle east to save her crazy brother derek a conspiracy theorist who is convinced Osama bin Laden is still alive despite having been buried at sea. <laughs> 
So uh, it looks like Osama bin Laden has returned from his watery grave as a flesh-eating ghoul and is creating a secret army of zombie insurgents. Sounds like bloody... What's that? Um, Iron Sky type of stuff. It sounds like it could be Iron Sky Part 3. <laughs> but uh, it's definitely going to be worth watching. It's definitely going to be a laugh. As I say, it's probably going to be some really bad shit but uh, definitely worth a laugh okay next one uh, this is my HMV pickup um, haven't seen this film uh, I do like Steve Carell and it's from the director of Forrest Gump only HMV had this in still um, on Blu-ray so uh, I picked this one up really interested saw the trailer looked weird looked very unusual um but yeah it's kind of like weird yeah uh it's called welcome to marwen um i didn't see this as i say i didn't see this in the cinema from what i make out of the trailer he's um he gets beaten up by some blokes or something and on his road to recovery as he has visions of barbie dolls and action men or some kind of shit like that but it does look quite interesting and um I know it's had a kind of like a mixed reception when it came out. It is a Robert Zemeckis movie, so that was kind of like the drawing point for me. It's actually Robert Zemeckis and the music by Alan Silvestri. So it's Back to the Future Reunion. So I am really looking forward to seeing that one and see what that's like. Very unusual stuff, but uh, kind of original as well. So that's good. Uh, and my last two pickups, both from Sainsbury's. This is a film that I've not got in my collection. I think I had the still book a couple of years ago. But uh, this has been re-released as a special collector's edition with exclusive art cards. Drive. With, uh, what's his name? Ryan Gosling and Carey Mulligan. It's been a while since I've seen it. I like the artwork on this. Really nice striking artwork with the old purple and everything. Much better than the original release artwork. So yeah, I'm glad I've actually picked that up because as I said, I didn't actually have that in my collection and it's been a while since I've seen it. And this was £8 in Sainsbury's. £8 in Sainsbury's or £10 in HMV. So I picked it up from Sainsbury's. Talking of different prices, Bumblebee, um, very nice still book. Very nice still book in... Um, oh, my phone is actually slipping. Hang on one minute. Yes, I thought that was I thought that was slipping actually. The uh, the glue must be must have come undone. So yes, the the, the Bumblebee still book very nice. Um, it is kind of a matte look. I was hoping for a gloss look to it, so I didn't pick it up. But uh, it's got some nice debossed blue eyes, and also the title is nice and debossed as well. But I did pick up the 4K version, so I picked up the 4K version of Bumblebee also comes with the blu-ray uh, and I picked this up from Sainsbury's because it was 20 pounds uh, and then I had a look in HMV and it was 24.99 or 24.95 and sorry about that my bleeding phone kept falling off its uh, off its dash off its uh, little sucker thing Anyway, yeah, what was I talking about? I was talking about Bumblebee. Yes. So £20 in Sainsbury's, £25, £24.99 or £24.95 in HMV. I don't know why there's a £5 difference. I even looked on Amazon and it was 25 quid on there as well. And also Zoom and Zavi. So either the supermarkets are trying to undercut everybody by getting people in there or they priced it wrong or all the other shops priced it wrong and it should be 20 pounds so yes so bumblebee i am glad i picked that up as i say the still book was actually 30 quid uh, it looked very nice but 10 quid difference 10 quid difference so they are my pickups for today very happy with that lot especially bumblebee drive and welcome to marwin where I'll have some fun watching those.
fantastic. So I hope you enjoyed today's little out and about Blu-ray hunting. I've got to go back to work now because I'm on half day. Half day, yes, yeah, so I've got to be back at work at half past two until eight. So five and a half hours, not too bad. I'll spend the last hour or, hour or so editing at work. So thanks for watching. Uh, I just wanted to say welcome to three new Patreon members. Hey, isn't that Devon Graham? <laughs> Great name. Louis Ty and Christopher Jeremo or Jeremo. So welcome to three new Patreon members. Um, your memberships will commence from the 1st of June, so you'll get all your goodies after the 1st of June. But um, yes, thank you very much for going over to Patreon and signing up to get some extra bargains and all that kind of shit. Plus you'll get your names at the end of the credits and um, you've had your shout outs, so fantastic. Oh, dear me, it's getting warm in here. Yes, so hope you enjoyed the little out and about. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Head over to Patreon if you want to sign up to get some extra bits and pieces. And uh, comment and share on the video and I'll see you on the next video. And don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye, my friends. <gasps> oh, is that a bumblebee?